Well, the weather is finally warming up, but the effects of our freezing cold will linger throughout the spring and summer for those who suffer from allergies. Devin Clark today talked to a doctor who offers some helpful advice for this season. We're in the middle of April. Not a flower in sight, and the trees are just beginning to bud. I'm not liking it at all. <laughs> That's because Betty Jo Seifert's allergies are already in full swing. Runny nose, constantly coughing, sneezing, water eyes, I get headaches. According to medical experts, the harsh winter we had is only going to lead to more severe allergy symptoms. It's a matter that things have been so delayed, Mother Nature then is ready to burst. And that's exactly what's going to happen. The right elements are here, they're going to burst, we're going to get pollens from the grasses, the trees, the weeds, and it's going to be a very high burst in these counts. Dr. Greg Roscoe has been specializing in allergy treatment for more than 30 years. He says that whenever a high pollen count is expected, it's best to start taking allergy medicine early, even if you don't feel symptoms. Start with your antihistamine, start with your inhaler, start with your nasal sprays now, even kind of pre-season, and continue them into season. That's advice Betty Jo didn't need to hear. Oh, I already got my headache medication ready. I already went and got lots of Benadryl, Claritin. Aside from medicine, Doc says there are other ways to help yourself. If you're out golfing, come home, change your clothes, take a shower, wash your hands. Same thing with your animals, all right? Maybe bathe the animal a little more frequently than what you were doing to eliminate the allergens in the house. Bottom line, the more allergens you're exposed to, the more you suffer. In Dubois, Devin Clark, 6 News.